because I was listening to Bill O'Reilly a while ago, and they said, hey, this guy, he just really looked bad. You know, it's, he's, it looks like he's been, you know, just beaten down from these people. And these people, I refer to them as subhuman organisms. I mean, that treating a man and his family the way they have. But I, I would just like to ask all the people, and I'll say, I'm going to say something else. Donald Trump doesn't care if you're a Democrat or Republican or Independent. He wants to do what's best for this country. He doesn't care. And what the Democrats are doing is they're dividing us because you divide and conquer. So everybody listen. It's, it's, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or, or a Republican or even if you hate Trump. Whatever he does for this country is going to benefit everybody. Mm-hmm. And I just want to ask everybody, even if you don't like the man, pray for this man. Pray for him and his family because he, he, he needs our support. And I just want to say, I love that man. I love President Donald J. Trump. Rhett, thank you very much for the call. Trump is intensely popular among Republicans. I've seen numbers in the 90s. President Trump says 96%. I'm not sure it's quite that high. And by the way, in the 24 hours since Nancy Pelosi has announced a formal impeachment inquiry, the Trump campaign and the GOP have raised $5 million dollars. And in the Rasmussen poll, not only is he at 51 percent, I believe that's the highest of his presidency, but according to Rasmussen, he's now ahead of Joe Biden by four points. Now, you remember when Adam Schiff was on the Bill Maher show after the uh, Mueller report came out, did not find collusion, did not find corruption, did not find uh, conspiracy uh, and punted on obstruction of justice. And even Bill Maher said to Adam Schiff at this point, at this point, it looks like you're stalking the man. But, but, but this was our big gun. Now it just looks like you're stalking him. Uh, I, I think in the eyes of the people who don't follow it that closely, which is most of the country, was here's the thing about Bob Mueller. He's like the last person, maybe the last thing in America that left and right agreed on. Left and right basically agreed, this is a guy of honor, this is an honest guy, this is an honest broker. Whatever he says goes. Americans are not into details. Don't read it to me, Bob. Just give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. The fact that he was like, uh. <laughs> I, I don't, if you, were, if you couldn't impeach before, how are you going to impeach after? Or should you? Well, were you on that? Yeah. Uh, That was Bill Maher going after Adam Schiff after the Mueller report came out, and they still kept going. And here's Schiff today. Than I or many others had imagined. Uh, It is shocking uh, at another level that the White House uh, would release it. Worse than I ever imagined. It's even shocking that the White House would release it. Well, they're releasing it because you guys said that he was pressuring the president of Ukraine by threatening to withhold money. Nothing of the sort was in that conversation. Released this, these notes uh, and felt that somehow this would help the president's case or cause. Because what those notes reflect is a classic mafia-like shakedown of a foreign leader. They reflect a Ukrainian president who was desperate for U.S. support, uh, I for military like, support so to help that country uh, in a hot war with Putin's Russia. Uh, a country that is still occupied by irregular Russian forces uh, and in which people uh, face um, a very uh, dangerous and continuing uh, and destabilizing action by their aggressive neighbor. Are you high? Yes. And at the same time, a president of the United States uh, who immediately after Ukraine president expresses the need for further weapons tells the Ukraine president that he has a favor to ask. The president communicates to his Ukrainian counterpart that the United States has done a lot for Ukraine. We've done an awful lot for Ukraine, more than the Europeans or anyone else has done for Ukraine. But there's not much reciprocity here. This is how a mafia boss talks. What have you done for us? We've done so much for you, but there's not much reciprocity. I have a favor I want to ask you. What is that favor? Of course, the favor is to investigate his political rival, to investigate the Bidens. Uh, And it's clear that the Ukraine president understands exactly what is expected. I want to say, you know, can we can we all get along? Can we can we get along? Um, 
can we stop making it making it horrible for for the for the older people and the, and the and the and the kids? Now, there's something you need to know about Relief Factor and about Pete and Seth Talbot, the father-son owners. They're on a real mission to help as many people as possible get out of pain. And that's why they created Relief Factor. Millions of people are getting out of pain, back pain, neck pain, shoulder, hip, and knee pain. And it works. First step, order the three-week quick start for just $19.95. It can be at your door in just two to three days. So go to relieffactor.com, relieffactor.com. That's relieffactor.com. show on the Salem Radio Network returns from break in one minute and 45 seconds. Elder Show on the Salem Radio Network returns from break in one minute and 15 seconds. Elder Show on the Salem Radio Network returns from break in 45 seconds. Elder Show on the Salem Radio Network returns from break in 15 seconds. The Larry Elder Show on the Salem Radio Network returns from break in five seconds. and arguing for him to be fired had a conflict of interest. And if you don't see that conflict, you're blind. So, if you don't see that there's a double standard here when it comes to Trump and everybody else, you're blind. You're willfully blind. If this had been a Republican, you would be asking what relationship did your son's involvement in the Ukraine have to your decision to call for the guy to be fired? Did the New York Times tip off the vice president? There's an investigation that involves companies that your son may be part of. I'm not accusing them of anything, but there is plenty of conflict here that somebody should look at. I just watched the speaker yesterday demean the office of the speakership. I understand members when they want to be political, but the power of the speaker is a much different place to be. I listened to the speaker claim that the president violated the law based on nothing that she had read, based upon a whistleblower that wasn't even listening to a conversation with an IG saying that the whistleblower has political bias. 888-971-SAGE, 888-971-7243. That latter speaker was Kevin McCarthy, the ranking Republican in the House. 888-971-SAGE, 888-971-7243. I am Larry Elder. This is ReliefFactor.com studio. The zip poll question I left you with when we last spoke... According to a new CNN poll of Iowa, Elizabeth Warren now has a two-point lead over Joe Biden right now. Will Warren win the Iowa caucus? 
Seventy percent of you believe that she will win the Iowa caucus. Thirty percent say no. Here's the one for tonight. I'll give you the results when we next speak. If you read the transcript of the phone call between President Trump, if you read the transcript of the phone call between President Trump and the president of Ukraine, do you believe Trump committed an impeachable offense? You have two options, either yes or no. In order to participate, you must be a member of the Zip community. Go to your app store, download the Zip app by searching under Zip Poll USA. In order to participate in this poll, you have to use my code SAGE, S-A-G-E. We leave with a few remarks made by Kevin McCarthy. How much do you think this impeachment incident is going to re-energize the Trump base in this next election? You know, and I'm not worried about energizing the Trump base. I'm worried about what it's doing to the fabric of America. I'm worried about what is it showing to the rest of the world. Just as we went through the Mueller report and the rest of the world had to watch as long as we, and it came back, we found out that Adam Schiff lied to us. It's already raised $5 million, Trump and the GOP, in 24 hours since Pelosi made her announcement. Hashtag winning. I'm Larry Ogden. The mic has been dropped all across America. That's enough. Put down the mic. The Larry Elder Show. Thank you.